Oatmeal is not a good option if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal. But if you're still looking for that similar oatmeal experience while actually working towards your weight loss goal, I have a really great new recipe for you guys. I'll be sharing my vanilla blueberry keto oatmeal recipe that you can eat every day and actually help you achieve your weight loss goals. But if you're new here, my name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. On my channel, I teach you how you can achieve your weight loss and wellness goals while still eating meals that you love. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so for the base of this recipe instead of oats which are really high in starches that'll really spike your storing hormone insulin and cause you to be in a state of fat storing we're going to be using chia seeds hemp seeds flax seeds and some almond flour this recipe also cooks up really fast it's pretty much like cooking instant oatmeal except way better for your weight loss goals okay so to start we're going to be doing one tablespoon of chia seeds and you can put this straight into the saucepan that you're using chia seeds are really rich in fiber so it's going to help slow down the release of any glucose into your body and make that insulin spike not as high. It also helps to raise your satiety hormone, cholecystokinin or CCK, which helps to make you feel full and satisfied while preventing sugar cravings. So same thing with flax seeds. It has a lot of the same perks as chia seeds. We're going to be adding in a tablespoon of flax seeds as well. The flax seeds also contain that fat and fiber that's really important for achieving a weight loss goal and preventing sugar cravings. And next we're adding in a tablespoon of hemp seeds. Hemp seeds have some great source of plant-based protein as well as a really great source of fat in here and then to help make this get that like really porridgey oatmeal experience I'm going to be adding in a tablespoon of almond flour now if you don't have this portion in it's not going to have that same oatmeal experience it's going to feel more like a chia pudding which is really great and still tastes awesome but if you want more of that oatmeal experience you'll want to make sure you add in that almond flour so now the really important part for achieving a weight loss goal we've already swapped out the starches that are in traditional oatmeal that really work against your goals we now need to add in protein. So if you aren't getting protein in with your first meal or your breakfast, really any of your meals, you're not going to achieve the body composition goal that you're looking for, which means you're losing body fat, but you're not losing muscle or you're even gaining muscle. And for a long-term weight loss goal where you're not going to be decreasing your metabolism, you need to be getting enough of complete protein sources at each of your meals. So for that reason, we're going to have two different protein sources here. We're going to use a protein powder. So a half serving of a protein powder, pro tip or protein tip, make sure that you check on how how many scoops equals a serving. So some will be one scoop, one will be two. Make sure for this that you're using a half serving. So that might be like a half of a scoop or it might be one full scoop, depending on the brand. So we're just going to put this straight in and that provides us about half of the protein needs. We're also going to be adding in Greek yogurt at the end of this. So if you're plant-based, just double up on the protein powder here and just skip the Greek yogurt portion. So we have that base. You can see it all together here. This is going to be like the oat base where you're removing that starch and adding in the protein, the fat, and the fiber that will actually help you to achieve your weight loss goals. So now for the liquid, we're going to use an unsweetened coconut milk, but you can also use unsweetened really any nut milk or seed milk. You can use like hemp seed milk, almond milk, whatever you like, just not oat milk because oat milk also is going to be really high in those starches that will work against your goals. So we're going to use a half of a cup. And this is my homemade coconut milk, but you can use just regular unsweetened. I'll have the link for my homemade coconut milk linked down description below if you guys want to check that out, which the full recipe for this will also be written in the description below. So you guys can easily access it there too. Now for like another really good pro tip on not adding in sugar. So you can add in vanilla extract. Mm. And it helps to make it almost feel like it has sugar in it, even though it doesn't. So you get more flavor by adding in just about a half teaspoon or a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that way you don't have to add in like maple syrup or honey, which will work against your weight loss goals. So this whole base is specifically tailored to your weight loss goals. It doesn't have really insulin spiking food, so your body can more easily burn fat as fuel, but it also provides the nutrients needed to help prevent metabolism from dropping because you're not getting enough protein. So we're going to cook this up. You can just do this over a medium or medium low heat. You really only need to cook it for like one to two minutes. It's just to make sure that the seeds all absorb the coconut milk. So you just let that sit for a sec. And while that's going, we're going to be doing the blueberry base. So this is where you get a lot of flavor without very much sugar. I'm going to use just a little bit of a vanilla ghee, but you can use regular ghee, you can use coconut oil, you could use butter if you wanted to. But this is just to provide some type of base so that the blueberries don't stick. I'm like a medium low heat. I'm just gonna give this a stir. 
Oh my gosh, so much vanilla flavor. <laughs> so good. Okay, now we're gonna take about a quarter cup of blueberries, just frozen blueberries here. You don't want fresh. When you heat up frozen blueberries, it helps to release so much of like the blueberry y flavor and juices, which sounds really weird, but it helps to add so much flavor without adding in even more of that sugar, making it again really, really great for achieving a weight loss goal. So we're going to add on to this pan about a quarter cup of blueberries. And if you're not very carbohydrate sensitive, you could add in a little bit more blueberries but if you are carbohydrate sensitive you want to stick with about a quarter cup of blueberries i love this recipe <laughs> So we're just gonna let this cook for a little bit and you can see it's already releasing some of like the blueberry -y goodness mm. smells so good <laughs> so this is about done you can see here all that liquid has been absorbed so i'm gonna turn it off and now i'm going to add in the greek yogurt Ugh. so this is my homemade greek yogurt which is why it's in a coconut mana container but you can just use regular greek yogurt make sure you're looking for full fat and unsweetened so i'm going to use about a half cup so that we total to about 20 ish grams of protein here way higher than what you normally get with regular oatmeal which will be much more supportive of your weight loss goals and make you just feel better honestly because it'll make you feel more satisfied make you not as hungry throughout the day and no one likes to feel hungry <laughs> make an all around better experience. Just make sure that this is fully stirred in. And if you want like the same creaminess or you're going plant-based, you could also use an unsweetened plant-based yogurt in here. You'll still need the one full serving of protein powder if you're doing a plant-based option. Plant-based yogurts do not have protein in it. Noms. Yum. Okay, and I'm gonna turn off the blueberries and I'll just transfer over the blueberries too. So we have the vanilla that's embedded within the actual base and then we have the blueberries adding on a ton of flavor without very much sugar. Now you can do a bunch of different options for toppings. Just make sure that it is still unsweetened if you are looking to achieve a weight loss goal. I really like using coconut flakes, like toasted coconut flakes. It just adds a nice crunch. But you can also do other nuts if you wanted to as well. So you could do like some chopped almonds if you wanted to, some walnuts, really whatever you're feeling again as long as it's unsweetened okay cutting in real quick i created you guys a free download that has seven protein fat and fiber rich recipes to help you achieve your weight loss and wellness goals and get started on your weight loss journey these recipes are taken directly from my complete intermittent fasting bundle that has helped thousands of men and women around the world achieve their weight loss and wellness goals so make sure you check out the link down description below to grab those seven free recipes okay let's give this a try Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't mean to be like sacrilege, but this tastes better than oatmeal. <laughs> it has actually like a very similar consistency to regular oatmeal, but tastes so much better. <laughs> and has so much less sugar and starch, making it such a great option if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal. Let's get another bite in there. This is so good. <laughs> you guys actually loved my last oatmeal recipe, which is why I created another one because it's so easy and so delicious. So if you guys wanna test out that recipe as well, it's like pumpkin spice flavored. You can check that out right here. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science backed and really delicious information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm gonna go keep eating this. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye. <laughs>